Good evening, everybody. Matrix here, and here's my watch list for February 4th. Okay, taking a look at the futures here, we are opening very, very flat, just down 50 cents. Okay, uh, as you can see, we have a very short term uh, downtrend line. Basically, uh, the SPY futures itself kind of topped out, and we are now seeing a slight pullback. Uh, we've held this 269.5 bottom a few times now. Um, this kind of relates to uh, around the 269 area on the SPY as well. So as it comes down, I don't know if it'll keep pressing down pre-market uh, in the next few days or maybe pre-market around what, 4, 4 a.m. I'm looking at and then it might bust through or it might just snap from there, we'll have to watch, really have to watch close what it does pre-market. But um, so far, uh, I'm seeing a flat open and uh, the, the action I'm anticipating is a slow fade off until it comes back down to the support area right here. So how does this look on the SPY? Okay, so let's pull up the SPY real quick. Uh, as you can see, I already have some lines mapped out. Uh, one thing I want to talk about first of all is this blue line right here. This is the 100 SMA or uh, 100 simple moving average. As you can see here, as the 100 SMA moved along here, uh, when we had this big dump topped out around this area, um, and then when it reclaimed and came back up, it tested again, and then it tested again before the next dump, right? So every time uh, the SPY got close to this 100 SMA area, uh, it tends to dump. So zooming in a little bit, look at it where we are right now. It's basically right under it. Okay, so I do favor uh, the, the dumping part of this next uh, few days here. Uh, we are a little bit overextended from the 9 EMA, which is the, nine, uh, the red line over here. Okay, uh, so... After this little VWAP breakout, uh, I do anticipate it. The, the SPY needs to pull back a little bit. In my opinion, I don't think it will dump all the way. I, I really don't know how far it dump, but we can see it's a clear breakout of the VWAP, right? The 260 area and uh, the 265 area, and it has yet to pull back. Now, going moving forward along here from uh, the January 29th, this prior low, on the bounce day, it has held a mini uptrend line, okay? So we are actually essentially uh, in the consolidation of this uptrend, and it needs to pull back down to this trend line, and then we'll have to decide from there. Uh, it can either go, it can go either way, it can go up or it can come down. So if I'm just plotting this trend line, and if I'm just going on a thesis, uh, you see these two green lines here at uh, 268.50, which is the high of this green candle. And this 269, basically the psychological whole number, let me mark this off a little bit better, 269, which is the low of yesterday. Okay, uh, you have a very concise support area that matches up this uptrend line. Okay, so uh, I guess in one thesis is we are expecting a pullback. And as long as this support zone holds, it's still a long, okay, and uh, the this this trend line, this uptrend thesis holds, and it's still a long. But it, once this trend line snaps, and it comes back up, retests and fails, then we know that this uptrend is done and over with, and we will start shorting it again. Um, going into the intraday chart. I've marked off basically the same exact trend and the same exact zone. So you can see right here, right, right here. Okay. And uh, we are fading a little bit. We're basically opening flat. So uh, we're coming very close to this trend line. Um, I do anticipate it to drop and break this uh, intraday trend line just to freak some people out and then it might get sucked back up kind of like uh, the market makers playing games right so at the open I'm looking for a quick dip and if this holds then I'm gonna get out of that short like I'm gonna short this dip out the gates and uh, if it holds I'm gonna get out of the short and uh, ride it back long right with that said uh, let's take a look at a few tickers here for tomorrow since uh, 
I am anticipating kind of like a choppy day at the SPY. It's still consolidating. Um, I'm not going to be aiming for big, big moves. We are coming into uh, kind of like a scalper's market until the SPY actually makes a decision. But uh, on my watch list tomorrow, I am watching Amazon again for a continuation downside. Uh, Amazon, I basically called it perfectly the prior night before over here. Um, it basically tested the high of this candle, this green candle, and came down to the low of this green candle as well. Uh, if the support snaps, what I truly think is that um, I think uh, the smart money wants to bring Amazon down to uh, the 50 SMA right here at the 1600s and uh, before they uh, buy in again on this dip or it might come down even more but this is the first support area I'll be watching the 1600s okay so Amazon currently is sitting at 1622 I'm looking for a pop and drop as you can see there was a sell-off here and I caught a majority of the sell-off move uh, through my recap that I showed you guys um, doesn't look like that the shorts have covered yet okay and if we are expecting a little bit fade more down uh, from the market at the pre-market area then uh, I'm expecting a pop back up into this one uh, 1630 and then uh, from here I'll be looking for short uh, a rejection and a stuff to get short in okay so 1630 mark that off real quick all right, so zooming in on the 15 minute chart, you can see 1630 acted very well on this pop. It was a prior low, like a previous uh, low of day on uh, yesterday, and it snapped through. So uh, I'm anticipating it to test. If this breaks up and over, then I'll be watching the next resistance level. I'll be watching is uh, the 1640, which is basically the opening price of uh, yesterday, right? 1638.8. So basically the opening price of yesterday. Okay, uh, if I draw some uh, resistance lines here, as you can see, if I put a horizontal line here across the 1630 mark, uh, you know what, let's change the color real quick on the daily chart. You'll see some very key chart resistance, right? Um, hold on, let's open this up. Chart resistance right here, right? uh right here and then we had support here we had some sort of support here we had some sort of support here as well on this day um zooming out a little bit yeah that's basically it uh 1630 played very well uh this year the uh the in january this year so i'm gonna be watching 1630 for the pop and drop play and uh, of course I already told you where my target is I am going to target the first target is this area the 1600 the 1597 area um, so we are looking at about what 30 30 points potential so that's not bad that's not bad for Amazon okay, so that's my plan on Amazon next up we have Facebook now, Facebook here on the daily chart, it looks very weak. We have a massive gap to fill. Okay, this gap was created from an earnings uh, positive reaction, but it's pretty overextended and it looks very weak. We have like a massive seller's candle and another massive seller's candle. We are trading under the 200 SMA, which coincidentally is the 167 mark. So let's take a look at Facebook here real quick. Uh, you can see there is a very nice downtrend line that we can draw. Okay, so this matches right up to the 167 to 167.5 area. So let's watch that. Here's the 167 and here is the 167.5. Okay, zooming back in here. Um, clear clear resistance right i mean 167.5 you see it here pre-market you see it tried here um in the early almost early lunch we had a support area right in the morning 67.5 we tried again a late day and it finally snapped right now we're sitting at 65.75 looking for a pop and drop so a pop into 167 
watching for this trend line to hold it down and then uh, get short into it. Um, what I want to see is in anticipation of the 165 snap. All right, 165 is a key support area. Okay, I do think the stock can and will test 165 once again. Okay, and uh, if 165 snap, the next area we'll be watching for is 164.22, which is right here and here. Okay, and then we have 164 as support as well. Key psychological whole number, and then 163.4. And uh, this is how you map out, or how I map out areas, right? And 162. So, how far will this go if it snaps? Well, to be quite honest, my ultimate target is to bring it down to the 160, okay? According to uh, Fibonacci rules, I mean, um, basically the stock shot up from uh, this 150 area all the way to the 170, so it needs to pull back, and by f it shot up 20 points, so uh, by a pullback of like 50%, uh, that would be 10 points from 170 to 160, that's 10 points, and uh, 160 would be my ultimate target. But uh, just for tomorrow, though, I mean, I'm going to watch, watch for a pop and drop at the 167, drop it back down, and uh, pay myself with uh, every time the stock reaches uh, these levels. So we'll watch from there. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, Baba would be next. Baba, um, another stock kind of looking like Facebook, right? It had a positive earnings reaction. Basically double topped. Uh, we have a very key resistance area here at 169.65 area, the 200 SMA. Okay, um, the past couple of days we've seen heavy topping action at 169. So I really don't think it will reach 169, or it will get above 169 again. The stock basically really needs to uh, consolidate and pull back just a tad. Um, we are very extended from the 9 EMA. And we had a seller's candle here, this candle yesterday, even though the volume is a little low. Um, so what I'm watching for is basically a snap of uh, yesterday's lows, 6750s, all right? So if the 6750 snaps and holds under, then my thesis would be a short. Let's uh, mark that off, yeah, okay. Um, Got to be very careful. I mean, I'm watching the earnings day pop here at the highs here. Um, sorry, the close here. It's 166.82. So basically right there. All right. So we have support level. We have support level right here. Um, it's going to be a tough play. I like it for the short. Some could say because this is low volume, this is just a slight consolidation, but I do see the consolidation to come down a little bit more, right? Because we are so overextended and the SPY is opening flat, right? Um, if, the fla if the SPY was to gap up though, right, uh, I, would, I would definitely call for a long. Um, however, because the SPY is opening flat, I do uh, anticipate a little bit more of a fade here tomorrow on Bubba as well. Um, if the overall market is fading, then I would expect uh, Bubba to fade a little bit. Uh, my target is to uh, test this candle's low, 165.70. So this would be my target here around this area. Okay. If I can get the stock back down to here, I'll be very, very happy with the trade. Um, looking for a pop and drop. If it pops into the 169, even better, I'll be looking for a rejection signal. All right, uh, that's Baba. MU. Okay, uh, MU, not as much range as Baba and Facebook, in my opinion. It literally just broke out of this 39 level, but it is a little bit overextended and it has yet to test this 39. I mean, some could say this was a test, right? Uh, the stock held the 39 breakout uh, a few times already. Um, but we also see a very consistent topping action here near the 40s. And uh, right at the 40s, we have a key psychological hole number along with prior resistance um, here on December 4th, here on November 15th, right? 
here on November 9th. So lots of chart resistance. I don't think the stock can get back above. I'll be watching the high of day. Definitely watching for a high of day for rejection. If it gets over and above, uh, we'll also be watching the 40 mark as well. Um, don't want to short it out the gates. Always going to be looking for a pop because the stock actually does look quite strong. I mean, we do have a, a pretty slight moving up trend here as the stock keep bouncing off VWAP. I mean, you can draw it this way. Uh, you can draw it steady like that here, linking this bottom to this bottom. Hold on. And draw it steady like that. So we are in a very, very slight uptrend. Right, more of like a wedge, but uh, bullish pennants, right? As you can see, something like that, right? So I'm looking for the break either way. I like the pop and drop idea. I like how it's overextended. That's why I like the short. So we have a key resistance zone right here, okay? And uh, yeah, that's my play on MU. On Sidewatch, I have C-R-O-N, Kronos. Um, it's a weed stock. Basically, it has ran stupid and parabolic. Um, I think a lot of people are watching this stock right now as uh, it keeps squeezing and squeezing. Um, there is no um, catalyst for it to squeeze or for it to run up like this. So it's basically a squeeze in my opinion. But it's holding key levels. So it's holding 2050 to uh, 2040 area, I believe. Oh, 2035, right? It's holding key support levels. Um, this thing needs a pullback day, maybe down to uh, 1950s, right? Down to this day, the high of this level right here, all right? Uh, what I'll be watching for is ideally I want to see a pop and drop, right? If uh, the stock pops, out the gates get stuffed here around the 2150 I'll be looking for a short I'm also watching for high of day as well but I really don't think it can get up there if it does sure why not uh, let it go um, watch for the double top right um, if it gaps down though this would be an overextended gap down uh, I'll also be looking for a pop and drop but if it gaps down that's more reason for me to like the short um, if it gaps down because uh, well I'm not gonna talk about the reason why if it gaps down I like it more but uh, my theory is if it gaps down if it's an overextended gap down uh, I'm gonna look for a pop and drop um, let's say it gaps down to around the 2050 area or if it gaps down under under this area it's even better I'll be looking for a pop and a drop right so if it gaps down here pop and drop um, if it gaps down here, uh, pop and drop, uh, looking for some kind of resistance around this area as well. So, okay, so lots of resistance area we can watch for, really depending on whether the stock gaps up or down. And uh, we'll put Kronos on the side watch. I don't want to miss the massive pull when it happens. So I'll be putting this on the side watch for sure. And uh, that's basically my watch list for this evening. If you enjoyed what you watch, Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Share as well if you like. Um, I'll see you guys all bright and early tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Ciao.